This sub solves two of the main issues of the Mac Mini M4 adds USB type A ports right over here, SD and micro SD card slot here, a SSD on the bottom, a HDMI port for a second display, extra audio output for those that don't want to use the front jack and just as importantly it fixes the awkward power button of the Mac Mini M4 which Personally, to me, it's a non-issue. To me, the biggest issue is the audio output on the front of the Mac Mini. Now, I've had Mac Mini since 2011. All of them had the audio at the back, which was great for those that have monitor studio sound systems or for those that use headphones. My Mac Studio also has the audio output at the back and that's great for anyone that uses headphones and audio systems. This one here is great for those that use a headphone jack and then you just plug it at the front. But for those that have audio systems, not so great because you will have a wire hanging here 24 seven. It just doesn't look really nice. And if you are watching this video, Video on Windows 10 or 11 computer and you still haven't activated and can't even edit your desktop icons, don't forget to check out cdksales.com where we can find budget official OEM keys at an affordable price and with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below on the video description it will get even cheaper. So it was designed almost only for those that have a headphone jack and it will unplug at the end of the working station because if you leave the wire here won't look good. It, it's impossible to look good. So the docking station will solve that issue by adding an audio jack right over here. Now the power button. Okay, it's an issue. A lot of people complain. To me, it's not. I believe that this computer here on a normal year where I don't need to unplug it like I did right now, I will probably touch the button about five or six times if that much because it will pass most of the time on sleep mode and then I just click on the keyboard or on the mouse and bam it wakes up I can keep on working at the end of the session it will sleep again so the power button is something that we don't use a lot but I do love the design it's really nice it fits great here so for those that did complain now you have a solution where you can put your finger below and just power it on. Now it has an SSD slot right over here we can put it in it's really really simple and we can expand the storage of the Mac Mini which is usually short. Now easy to install we just need to remove one screw insert the SSD and put in back the screw and we are set. It is a 10 gigabit connection so it will allow for speeds of about 1000 megabytes per second reads and on writes more or less which I did test it out with the Sabrent SSD. It also takes SD and micro SD cards. I did test it out and it supports speeds up to 100 megabytes per second which is more than enough for the type of memory cards that we use. HDMI output will support up to 4K at 60 Hz. Great for those that use editing software like Photoshop or even DaVinci Resolve, Final Cut Pro and video editing tools. It's not targeted for those that play games but honestly if you play games you are not going to get one of these. You are probably going to get one of those right over there. So all great. There's only one thing that I would like to see improved and probably a next generation on a pull weight top hub for the Mac Mini which is the USB type A ports which are only USB 2.0 both the two at the front and also this one here at the back so we are talking about maximum of 500 megabytes per second reads and on writes so if we are transferring big files my suggestion is simple just add one of these SSDs one bad boy this one is from Sabrent it is a Thunderbolt SSD that we can just connect with a Thunderbolt cable and in this particular case I would not connect it to the dock I would either connect it at the Thunderbolt port here at the front and leave the cable hanging here or connect it at the Thunderbolt one of them at the back and just have the SSD on the top like so like we do use on a real life situation. I do this every single day on my Mac Studio and also here on this Mac Mini M4 Pro. So here's a solution for the lack of USB 3.2 for example which would be really really cool but in this generation not available yet. Now this solution is really interesting, well designed, it is well built. In terms of the color I would say that if it's not the same, it is 
almost I would say that there is a I don't know I don't see any differences but when I put it like this on the light probably you might be able to see anything but if you do it is minimal so well built really awesome it looks really good on any setup ideal for those that want to add more storage via an SSD and want to add ports especially the SD and micro SD card slots and then the in my opinion of course the audio jack and the HDMI output so that we can use on a two display setup is awesome I will leave the link down below just in case you want to check that out hopefully the video was helpful and if it was don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George and as always I'll see you on the next one.